It's gut calling. <clears throat> you know, every day, there are times when, throughout my day, I don't know about yours, but through my day, you know, sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm all around, but, you know, the point of it is, is that your day is how you choose to make it, is that when you feel discouraged or down, you can change the way you feel simply sometimes by having a cup of coffee, doing the caffeine thing. You could, if you're so inclined, try sugar and you'll get a sugar rush. But God doesn't really want us to implement outside things to influence us on how we feel about our day. But he wants to work from the inside outward about how we can recognize the day that the Lord has made for us. Because then we could appreciate each and every day as something that God has given to us to experience, to enjoy, to participate in with him in a personal way. Because you see, most of what we're talking about when we say salvation and having a personal relationship means to participate with God. When he says work out your salvation with fear and trembling, it means to recognize that God literally is God and that you're participating with him to the salvation of your soul as well as to those around you because you're affecting people everywhere you go. Whether you know it or not, everything you do is being watched by either angels in heaven, people around you, your children, your wife, your friends, your neighbors, whoever it may be, but all like Shakespeare said, the world is a stage, so to speak, is that all of it is obvious before God, and it's obvious to the people around you that you being who you are, being a born again Christian, being filled with the Spirit of God, being the light of the world, being the salt of the earth, that you don't have to do a thing to be who you are, but God is in you, and he is causing things around you to be constructed in a way that he chooses for today. So we try to align ourselves to participate with God, to walk with him, as it were, in and throughout our day, because he is alive and he is real. And it's your choice to make him more real or less real to you as you choose to do or to ignore what he has to say. So today in God Calling, as I'm listening to what he's saying to me, not punishment. I will guide your efforts. You are not being punished for your past sins. Take my words revealed to you each day from the beginning and do in all things as I say. I have been showing you the way. You have not obeyed me in this. I have a plan that can only in this way be revealed. So rarely do I find souls in union who want only my will and only to serve me. This union is miraculous. I have told you that I am longing to use you and participate with you in that which you have longed for me to be. Long ago my world would have been brought to me had I been served by people that were just so choosing to have a desire after my own heart. It was always my plan and my will that we should walk as one, even as I am in my son and the son in me. You know, when I hear what God has to say, then I take it to the Word and I pray, but then I take it to literally my heart and I think, wow, is that God speaking? Hmm, does it fit my life? Does it connect the dots? Does it make sense? Does it seem to steer me in the way that I see God in a more intimate way? Does it help me to understand Jesus more real today than I did yesterday? Does it bring me to a comprehension of what God is doing in my life today? Does it help me in some way to hear his voice? Does it cause me to know him in the stillness and the quiet of my heart? Does it help me in the trials and tribulations of the world that I go through? Does it bring to me a better and more real demonstration of God himself in me as he lives through me to affect the world around me. If it does, then I believe, without any shadow of turning or doubt or even 
worried about what I'm saying, that it's obviously God speaking, because only He could bring the circumstances of life, the Word of God, and what I'm doing, and put them together, and make them completely fit together, cooperatively, in a complete way, so that the picture not only fits, but it works line upon line, day by day, moment by moment, fulfilling that which he's told me. My wife, I'm always telling, you know, in the middle of her day, because she'll read her devotional in the morning, and, you know, read the Bible in the morning, and she'll do all these things, and later on in the day, something will come up, and she'll be either frazzled, or freaked out, or worried, or whatever, and I'll say, well, what'd your devotional say? Because she knows I don't mean her devotional. I mean, what did God say to you? You know, what did God tell you in your devotional? What did God choose to reveal to you today in his word that he made alive that you could find the strength as well as the direction for what you should do in this moment of crisis? And every time that we flip it open, sure enough, there was his word to her to explain and to give her strength, direction, comfort and complete understanding of what's going on at that moment and you know that's what God wants to be real to you he wants to be that intimate and that personal that you can always turn to him and always hear his voice it's up to you it's your choice how you want to live your life but as for me and my house we'll serve the Lord